How's it going everyone? Welcome back to another video. In today's video I'll be showing you how to format your XFAT SD card to FAT32. So let's go ahead and get started. Now if you've seen any of my videos before on installing custom firmware on the Nintendo Switch, I always recommend that you format your SD card to FAT32. It runs better, it has no crashing or less crashing, and even the applications that we use on the custom firmware, the developers recommend using FAT32 as well. So I also know that anything that is higher than 64 gigs or 64 gigs and up, it is all XFAT. So if you try to format the card yourself with Windows that comes with the formatting system, you'll notice that the file system you want to put FAT32 is not an option to be done. So we need to force format FAT32 and this is where this comes in play. It's called Rufus. There's going to be a link in the description down below to this website so that way you can download it if you want to follow along with me. And it'll look exactly like this. This application, there's so many out there, but I really like using this one. Uh, you can use this to format or force format FAT32 on your XFAT SD card. So once you're here, you can just go all the way down to the download option here and just go ahead and click on it. And then here, just uh, well, depending on which browser you used, we can start the process. So just follow the on screen the things, the, like the warning that says you're sure you want to install it. And it'll pop up just like this. So we should have 3.8 and it looked like this. It already picked up my 64 gig SD card. If not, then choose the one that you have, but it's uh, the only drive that I have on my PC. So that's the one that is picked up here. It has so many options because this is not just the uh, formatting for you. It is like a uh, to make boots, uh, boot disks. So if you see right here, um, just for a quick reference, if you want to install Windows, you can make a bootable drive out of it, so which is pretty cool. Or do other things with it if you want to look into that. But here we just want to force format FAT32. So here under this option, as you see right here, we're going to click on this and we're going to click on non-boot. And you'll see these options pop up. We can go ahead and name this whatever we want. I have mine 64 gig, but I can name it as switch. And we have the file system that's already set to XFAT. This is just also if you want to go ahead, if you have any hidden partitions that are in there, it's going to go ahead and format it and delete those partitions for you. Like if you made a Windows partition um, or a bootable Windows, you can delete that and fix your SD card here. So this is, has a bunch of uses, but here on the file system, we can click here, and now we have all these other uh, file systems that we can use. Of course, we're going to want to be using FAT32 format. We can leave everything else the same and just go ahead and click on start. It's going to say that all the data is going to be lost. Even the uh, partitions, if you have any hidden partitions in there, it's going to uh, delete those partitions for you and completely fix your SD card. Okay, once it's done, this whole bar will be full green and say ready, but uh, we don't need to start anymore because it just formatted FAT32 for us. So we need to start again. We can just go ahead and click on close. And now when we open up our SD card, we should have these two options here that uh, that's automatically made from the thing. We can just delete them. And then um, we can look right here and look at our properties. And we can see now that our SD card is still 64 gigs or 59, which is the real truth. But we have our file system now in FAT32. So you can do this with your 500 gig or 128 gig and have it FAT32 format and have everything running with your custom format on your Switch a lot more smoother. So that's going to be pretty much it, guys. I wanted to make it a, as a short as possible to make sure everything is on this topic here. That way my other videos won't be too long. But I hope it works for you guys. Let me know if it does. Okay, so I have uh, the roofers here. And we can just go ahead and open it up whenever we feel like it. So that'll be all, guys. Uh, let me know if it works for you. If you like it, of course, I appreciate the, the thumbs up or the subscribe. I have a whole bunch of other videos that you can look at. I'm trying my best to do more update videos. I am swamped with work. And as you can see, if you've seen my other video on tinfoil, I'm wearing the same shirt. I am trying to cram in so many videos in one day uh, so that way I can try and update my channel as best I can. Other than that guys, uh, if you want to join my Discord and ask any questions if you have any errors on there, there's so many people in the community in there that are willing to help and respond pretty fast at all hours of the day apparently because I, uh, I, sleep, I sleep and then I wake up and there's so many messages. But like always, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.